Alan and Dr. Fawfinder, and welcome to part 10 of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Evernote. Now in this last segment, I'm going to go through some of the extras that you get in Evernote. So in the desktop version of Evernote, I've opened up a new note so it makes it easier for you to see. You'll note if you click, right-click down here in the text area, you have options like cut, copy, paste, select all. You can change the font. You can change the alignment. You can also create an ordered list. I'll show you that here with numbers. You can also create a bulleted list. You can also create a to-do list. How to insert a checkbox. What I usually do is create a number of them and then type in my items. But, and then when you're done, you can check it or uncheck it. If you click up here in the header area, you'll see that you can also import data into Evernote from Evernote files. It has a file import wizard and you can also import from Microsoft OneNote 2007. You can export your data. You can send a note by email. If you have like an address, you can click this and it'll take you to Google Earth and show you where it's at. There's a range of printing functions. You can go through your tags and decide which tags to assign to a particular note. You can also merge notes, tell Evernote to re-index, do a spell check. You can delete notes and you can undelete notes that you've already deleted. So Evernote has a full range of features. It's available to you on the web, on your desktop, on your mobile device, via email, via the clipper. There's just almost an unlimited number of ways that you can put information and things that you want into Evernote so that you can remember everything. And that concludes part 10.